Thank you for joining the March APTC orientation. We'll get started in just a few minutes, but before we do, I want to go over a couple of housekeeping items. You have the option today to listen to the presentation today through either your computer speakers or dialing conference phone. All phone lines are muted. Please submit your questions using the Q&A tool located on the right side of your screen. You can enter your questions at any time and we will get to them at the end of the presentation. We are recording today's presentation and you will receive a copy of both the recording and the slides within just a few days. After the presentation, there will be a short survey for you to provide feedback on today's webinar. Now I would like to turn the presentation over to APQC's Relationship Manager, Patrell Wilson. Hello, good morning and good afternoon for some. My name is Katrell Wilson. I am an APQC Member Success Manager. And what we'll do today is explore the resources that are available through your corporate paid membership. Uh, it will be uh, several slides that we'll go through and then a live demo of the online resources that are now accessible through your corporate paid membership. ABQC is seen as the world's foremost authority in benchmarking best practices, process and performance improvement, and knowledge management. We have a very unique structure as a member-based nonprofit organization that makes us a differentiator in the marketplace. APQC partners with more than 500 member organizations worldwide in all industries. Our mission at APQC is pretty simple. We research and conduct to discover and document world-class business practices. We share those proven methodologies and processes. We help to connect and assist organizations around the world in adapting and using benchmarks and best practices to improve overall processes across an enterprise. Our values here at APQC is that we provide our organizations with trustworthy answers, so lasting solutions, not just quick fixes, fearless creativity, structured innovation, individual contribution for collective achievement, and continuous learning, sharing, and growth. APQC provides proven, trusted decision support for your business challenges. So when you look at overall process and performance management, with APQC's resources, your organization is able to improve business agility and operational performances by using APQC's globally recognized process and performance management tools and overall best practices. So when an organization thinks about knowledge management, APQC is seen as the leading source for innovative thinking and the latest research in knowledge management. An organization's financial management processes, APQC provides resources for your organization to respond to the call to add value. So the people component, human capital management, APQC provides you with vital information that you need to get the very best people doing their very best work end-to-end -end supply chain management, so you'll see things from strategic sourcing to shipping, maximizing efficiency at every step of your supply chain. APQC is home to 550 plus member organizations, and certainly we are growing day by day, uh, connecting to our members worldwide across 45 industries. When you are a member of APQC, you become a member of a worldwide network of more than 150,000 professionals who are dedicated to process and performance improvement. We have 25 years as the leading knowledge management authority since 1995. With APQC's membership, you have access to an online library of research best practices. APQC uh, has the world's most widely used process framework, which we call the PCS, Process Classification Framework. 
and we provide validated, neutral, trusted data. So a little bit about the APQC member resources. Our resource library is an online um, inventory of all of our content. You have access to research, which covers over 70 process areas. We have a team of professionals, our research managers, that apply proven research methods to develop solutions, strategies, and tools to solve your business problems. Working alone and in partnership with our member organizations and industry experts, we discover and capture the key processes and enablers behind successful practices. So once you start to connect to the resource library, you'll see that it houses over 30 plus performance assessments, over 5,000 articles, white papers, case studies, tools, and templates, and over 3,400 performance measures. Our process classification framework is our most widely downloaded piece of content. In its simplest form, it's a list that organizations use to define the work that's being done. So in a comprehensive manner without redundancy. So with our benchmarking, what you'll begin to see when you connect the dots to all of the entitlements of the membership, all of our benchmarking data aligns to the PCF. So you'll see those clear definitions to compare uh, performance across your organization or your peers. For content management, you'll see that all of our content directly aligns to the PCF. So you're able to organize content so people can find what they need and, and work together. Process definition and management. So our PCF allows organizations to standardize processes and identify improvement opportunities. So to better communicate. So the PCF provides a common language for the work that is accomplished within the organization. When you're looking to establish inter interdependency, so understanding the dependencies and the interconnections across and between processes. Overall performance management, so when you're establish establishing a process-based structure for measuring and management. So you may be using the PCF or some other taxonomy within your organization, but certainly by using APQC's process classification framework, it allows you to pull together all of the components of benchmarking and also best practices. APQC houses assessments to support every management need. So if you are looking to compare operational key performance indicators to peers, organizations utilize our rapid performance assessment or our open standards benchmarking. Within these assessments, you'll see that more than 45 process areas, including finance and accounting, human resources, product development, end-to-end -end supply chain, IT, customer service, and more within these performance assessments. What you get back once you submit to APQC, we take uh, the assessments through a validation process, which is logical and statistical. If there's anything that is out of line with the way that we design these measures, we reach out to you to make sure that you've understood uh, the assessment and the manner in which it was designed. So we do have live analysts here that support our open standards benchmarking. So if there are ever any questions or any way that we can support so that when you are beginning to go down uh, the assessment path, we want to ensure that you are submitting with the highest level of confidence. So always feel free to reach out to your member success manager, and we will certainly help to answer any questions or any uneasiness that you might feel before submitting to the assessment. If you are looking to assess your business process management capabilities, we have our BPM assessment tool. You are able to, uh, again, assess your business process management overall. It helps organizations to determine the current state of process management at your organization. The Knowledge Management Capability Assessment Tool 
provides organizations with an overall maturity rating of your KM program, as well as scores for 12 different capabilities. Also, if you're looking to find out how your organization's operations activities and resource investments compare to your peer, you have access to our research assessment. So these topics do uh, vary based on our research agenda, but what you receive back after submitting is a summary of survey findings and access to all of the case studies, articles, and best practices derived from research. If you are looking for just-in-time process performance benchmarking, APQC's Benchmarks on Demand provide you with this level of insight. So if you're just getting started and maybe you haven't established your key performance indicators and you're looking to start setting targets, the Benchmarks on Demand is a really great place to start your focus. It's an online tool to uh, access process performance data. So you're able to select your measures uh, across 3,400 uh, measures, 70 plus process areas, including end to end. You can filter. So you're able to customize your report with peer groups based on industry, region, and revenue size. APQC has over 2 million plus data points from hundreds of participating organizations around the world. You're able to review and receive an instant report. So you're also within the Benchmarks on Demand tool, you can find additional information about the measure, including definitions and formulas. So again, organizations utilize the Benchmarks on Demand to start setting targets of where they'd like to improve. Our Mosaic tool is an innovative cloud-based solution that allows organizations to measure, manage, and learn. This is a member-only benefit that allows companies uh, to use Mosaic if you are part of a centralized or decentralized process function, if you're looking to break through process silos. Maybe your organization is creating process management tool synergy, aligning strategic goals with an executive dashboard, or if you're looking to customize your process framework. So if there's any interest in learning more about Mosaic or having APQC to demo this tool uh, to a group of professionals, then please reach out to your member success manager and we, we will arrange that with the team that supports uh, the Mosaic tool. The peer-to-peer -peer search allows our member organizations to, one, expand their professional network, and two, connect and knowledge share with other members around the world who could have possibly had some of the same business challenges or would like to do um, maybe some uh, benchmarking from one organization to the other. So you are able to connect to other member organizations that have said, yes, I would like to knowledge share and engage with other member organizations. The only rule of thumb we have in this area is that you typically don't ask an organization anything that you'd be uncomfortable with sharing yourself. So online, you're able to choose uh, if you knew the person's first and last name, or maybe you're looking at specific process areas and you only wanted to see uh, a population of members uh, who are interested in supply chain. You can search in that fashion. If you knew the company or the region, you can do so. And certainly if you wanted to make a uh, different connection and introduction from one member organization to the other, uh, you can reach out to your member success manager and we will certainly connect you with that member organization. Our upcoming events, which, will you, which you'll see on our website, our 2020 Knowledge Management Conference, which is held here in Houston, Texas, which is where the APQC corporate office is, from April the 27th through May the 1st. I encourage you to connect and look at our events tab to see the full schedule of the conference topics or any questions you might have as a member. Our members do receive a discount. Uh, also, we have large group discounts and early bird registration discounts. 
We have our 2020 Process and Performance Management Conference, which is October the 5th through October the 9th. We also have our monthly webinars, which you'll see online under our events tab, where we share findings from research and trends on topics covering process improvement, knowledge management, finance, human capital, and supply chain. I always encourage members, if there's something that you're interested in, and even if there's a scheduling conflict, go ahead and register for those sessions because what we do at the end of the session is we send out the audio and slide deck so you will at least uh, be connected in that fashion. Now we will go to the guided tour of APQC. Here you will see that I am logged in. I created my profile and I, my access is on the enterprise level. So that means all of the core process areas that APQC supports, I have access to. Some of you on the phone, your organization might have a functional level membership. And so that basically means your organization has chosen to focus on a particular process area, whether that's knowledge management, finance, human capital, or supply chain. So you have a, a um, more restrictive access. That means for those process areas, those are the content pieces and also the data that you can collect, connect to. An organization at any point can upgrade its membership. So what you'll see is the APQC home page and I am just scrolling down to show you the home page you'll see um, our expertise and services across process management benchmarking knowledge management and advisory services So scrolling back up and using the tools, you'll see the available topic areas. So our resource library, again, this is where we house all of our best practices content, our tools, our templates, you name it, you'll find it here. You can also connect to the benchmarks on demand. Here is where you are able to start setting targets of where you want to improve by looking at various measures across process areas. You're not submitting any of your data, uh, but you get an instant report for this particular level of assessment. You also see there is a tool for our actual assessments, the rapid performance assessment, and also our open standards benchmarking. This is where you are beginning to submit your data, and what you receive back is a comparative report. So your organization uh, against your peers based on industry, region, and revenue size. So this is where you can start to identify and understand where the gaps are compared to uh, best-in-class, world-class organizations. You have access to the APQC process classification framework, Mosaic, our research agenda, and our blog. So let's take a dive into the resource library. At the top of the page, you'll see the Ask Us feature. APQC, um, we created this area for our members to uh, connect directly to our research team. So for instance, if you have searched through the resource library and you're not finding what you're looking for, or maybe you just don't have time to search, you simply click on Ask Us. It brings up a, a text area where you can type in exactly what you're looking for. And it allows APQC to do the heavy lifting. We certainly understand that maybe you don't have the time or you're just not finding what you're looking for. That's okay, allow us to do this for you. So you would simply type in exactly what you're looking for, utilize the drop down feature to categorize the topic area, and then click Ask Us. 
This goes directly to our research team. And what we do is certainly provide back to you within two to, two to three business days. And honestly, if you need it expedited in a quicker manner, please always just type that in also. And we return to you hyperlinks with the content or if it's data, we'll send you a, uh, an attached document. But we provide this detailed information back to you. And certainly if we don't have what you're looking for, we respond in that manner as well. So let's just take a look into uh, the resource library. So I am going to just type in a topic, process management. So certainly this, was, this will provide a pretty hefty number as far as what's available for the results. 7,600 content pieces. So to scale this down and get to a more specific, closer to what I'm looking for, we've created some filters on the left-hand side so you can search by topic area. You can search by format. You can add in the filter contained or by industry. So I am going to scroll back up and I am going to scale down my search to uh, process management only best practices. So I'm going to click here on case study. And what you'll see is this number changes to 237 content pieces. So when you scroll down, you will see case studies related to overall process management. I can click on any of these case studies. What you will see is a brief summary of the content piece. And now I am able to download the content. We also make available at the bottom of the page related resources. So any content that would be directly related to this particular content piece. So I'll go ahead and download this content. Anything that you download is stored in your profile so that it's easily accessible. There seems to be an error with this particular content piece. So I apologize for that. And let me just try it again and see if that changes. Okay, I apologize about that. What I'll do is back out of this and I will simply choose another content piece. And I apologize for the technical error. Okay, so we'll start the process again. I'm going to type in process management. And we will scale the search down. So let's just look at another content piece and see if we have any luck here. So I am going to download scenario planning example and practice. There we go. So you are able to connect directly to the content online. Anything that you see uh, with a hyperlink, simply click on the hyperlink and it redirects you to that uh, other content piece or uh, whatever it's connecting to. Again, anything that you download is directly stored in your profile so that it's always easily accessible. So
So our knowledge, our, our resource library is where we house all of our best practices content, tools, templates, white papers, you name it, you'll find it there. Our benchmarks on demand is where organizations uh, are able to start setting targets of where they'd like to focus and improve. So here you'll see you're able to find and select your metrics. So if you wanted to search by topic, you can search by topic on the left-hand side. Or if you wanted to search by the metric ID, if you knew the metric ID, the PCF, hierarchy, or any key codes, you could search in that manner. So I am going to scroll back up and utilize the topic feature. And let's look at supply chain. So here you'll see on the right-hand side, it will produce all of the measures in our benchmarks on demand that are affiliated with supply chain. You can filter by category, so by supplemental information, which is typically nice to have uh, data, but it's not decision-making data necessarily. By cost effectiveness, cycle time, process efficiency, or staff productivity. So let's just select a few of these metrics for the sake of the demo. And what I'll do is scroll down to the end of the page, and now I'll choose my peer group. Again, you're able to select by industry, region, or revenue size. For the sake of the demo, I'll select all across all of the areas. And now I am able to generate an instant report. You can edit the report name or certainly just utilize the, uh, the naming convention that AP2C has um, put here in the box. You're able to edit your measures at any time. So if you'd like to change or add measures, you can do that by clicking uh, the area edit measures or if you wanted to edit your peer group. So what we'll do is scroll down and look at the actual, actual data that has populated. So you'll have your metric ID. So this is an identifying number for the actual metric. You'll have your measure name. So the sales order accurate documentation rate. Here you'll have more detailed description about the actual measure. You can view details of the measure. So here is more details around the actual measure. We scroll back down to the bottom. You'll see the category. So uh, the measure category, how it aligns to the process classification framework. Then you all see the comparatives for all companies. So by the 25th percentile, the median performers, 75th percentile, and then the sample, sample size of all organizations that submitted to this particular assessment. Again, this is how organizations begin to set targets of where they'd like to focus and improve. Our assessments are unlimited, so there are no license or limitations as far as how many times you submit to an actual assessment. If we look at our tools page and go back into our assessments tab, you will see that you have access to our open standards benchmarking, our rapid performance assessments, and also our capability assessments. So here on the assessment page, you are able to connect to our rapid performance assessment, which is where you're submitting your data and getting a comparative insight on your performance in world-class organizations based on top, median, and lower performing companies. The turnaround time for the report once we validate the assessment is two to three business days. For our open standards benchmarking, this is a more detailed assessment. But again, you're submitting your organization's data and you receive a report back the turnaround time is two weeks because this is a more detailed assessment. 
Certainly, if you need this done in a quicker manner, please let us know, and we will do our very best um, to try to turn it around in the time frame that you're needing. You'll see our capability assessment. So this is the business process management assessment, and also you can connect to our knowledge management capability assessment. You'll also see the research assessments that are guided by our research agenda. So let's scroll down and start to begin the assessment process. So you'll see you're able to choose the topic. So if I went into the supply chain area, you'll see that we have surveys across all of our supply chain uh, process areas, end-to-end -end supply chain. So you'll see logistics, manufacturing, procurement, supply chain planning, and warehousing. So if we scroll back to the top of the page, let's take a look at uh, the logistics and warehousing performance assessment. Here you'll see a brief summary of the actual assessment and what it entails. You can also see the performance measures associated. And I'll also show you what a uh, actual sample report looks like once you provide this information to APQC. So to view the performance measures affiliated with the assessment, the first page is an indexing page. So this will look the same across all of the assessments. So we're just identifying the components of the survey. So for example, A is the survey name, B is the category of measure, C identifies the list of measures, so the metric group, and so on and so forth. Page two always begins the actual assessment. So you'll see for the supply chain management logistics open standards benchmarking, there are 49 measures in this actual survey. So you will see the metric ID, the metric name, so the inventory carrying cost as a percentage of inventory value. How does APQC expect an organization to provide that data? Well, it's pretty simple. The number here, 3.18.0480, aligns to a question number on the actual survey. You will see here that this particular measure, based on APQC subject matter experts, is seen as a key performance indicator, but it may not necessarily be so within your organization. So these are the measures affiliated with this supply chain management uh, open standards benchmarking assessment. Once you have submitted to the assessment and we validate it, this is the type of report that you can expect to receive back. So APQC's Open Standards Benchmarking Report, so it's always customized with your organization's name and details of the assessment. You will have your table of contents, which provides you with an executive summary, an overall survey scope and demographics, your organization's quantitative and qualitative information. Within the executive summary, you'll see overall best practices and relevant comparisons in addition to instruction. Here you'll find your overall scope and demographics, so also alignment to the PCS. APQC then highlights those key performance indicators. Again, the, the measures that we identify as KPIs may not necessarily be so within your organization. So what you'll see on this particular tab is your organization's performance, how all participants did for this particular measure, then the data cuts that you have chosen by industry, by region, and then by revenue size. You'll see other performance indicators, and again, those data cuts that you identify, and then supplemental information, which is typically nice to have data and not necessarily decision-generating information. You'll see your organization's qualitative responses, so this helps you to understand the drivers of the performance at the survey company. 
members and non-members alike submit to our open standards benchmarking. A company's name is never directly affiliated with its data, and APQC does adhere to a benchmarking code of conduct. In the 40 plus years that APQC has been in business, we have never had a breach in contract. So we do function with the very highest level of integrity when it comes to an organization's intellectual property. So here you'll see, again, uh, the accessibility of our surveys. An organization typically begins uh, in the benchmarking area to understand where their gaps are across their core process areas. If you are falling anywhere between the median and 25th percentile, that typically indicates some level of inefficiency around that process area. Organizations then utilize our resource library to begin searching for best practices on how to improve. So that is how those two tools work hand in hand. Here you'll see that we have a designated area for our process classification framework. We also have a team of professionals that work and support and update our PCF. So you'll see the different version numbers of the PCF. Also, APQC has uh, developed some industry-specific frameworks. So organizations can, again, use our cross-industry framework or industry specific if you feel that better speaks to your organization's resources and the ways that they are aligned. Our mosaic tool is our innovative cloud-based solution that helps organizations to measure, manage, and learn. So if you are interested or anyone from your organization would benefit um, from learning more about the Mosaic tool, please reach out to your member success manager and we can arrange time with the team that supports Mosaic on providing you with a demonstration of this resource. Here you'll see APQC publishes our research agenda annually. This is where our team of professionals across all of the process areas that we support, so end-to-end uh, -end supply chain, finance, human capital, and knowledge management, you're able to see the upcoming research agenda for the year. So you'll see based on our process areas, the current and upcoming research, and our completed projects. So you'll see this by all of the process areas. If there are questions or you would like to connect to our research team, you're able to do so and engage in that fashion. We do have an expert across all of the process area where they're responsible for embedding our resource library with best practices content and white papers, tools and templates for our members to utilize. Here you'll see the peer-to-peer -peer network that I spoke of. You are able to engage and connect with other member organizations around the globe that have said, yes, I'd like to, one, expand my professional network, or two, engage in knowledge share from one member to the other. So APQC provides a very safe and trusted way for our members to engage with the highest level of integrity and confidence from one organization to another. And certainly, if you'd like to have a more formal introduction of another member organization, feel free to reach out to your member success manager, and we will make those connections for you. Here you'll see our APQC blog. I encourage you, if you are an individual who uh, enjoys learning in a more creative fashion, Please follow the APQC blog. This gives our writers a chance to be a little more creative in their style of writing and delivery. Uh, so if you are certainly someone that enjoys to learn and read in that fashion, I encourage you to follow our APQC blog. Also, our events tab, you'll see all of our webinars, our community calls, and certainly at the top of the page, you'll see those two conferences that I mentioned. 
So if there's any interest in learning more about what's on the agenda or the details behind the workshop, which are the beginning part of the week, and then the conference is the ending of the week. If you're interested in learning what's on the agenda, please feel free to connect here under our events tab. And if your member success manager can do anything to support or help, please let us know. You'll see all of our upcoming events and our community calls that are listed. You can search by topic area, and you can certainly search also by the type of um, event. So again, if there is anything that you're interested in, but uh, maybe there's a scheduling conflict, please go ahead and still register because we register for that session because what we do at the end is we make the resources available to you. We'll send you the audio and slide deck. Also, I'd like to share with you um, as far as our expertise and what we do, so certainly through benchmarking, you can start to understand where your gaps are across core process areas. Our research connects you to the how-to, the success behind the world-class organizations. Our advisory services team uh, functions uh, like a very small consulting agency. So if your organization is looking for expert guidance to accelerate the adoption of uh, the process classification framework or develop your first knowledge management strategy, or if you're looking to make a business case for process improvement. Also, our training classes for process management and knowledge management are available for delivery virtually or on site. Um, please feel free to reach out to us so that we can speak with your leaders and see um, what value APQ APQC can add through fee-based services. Our members do receive 20% off of these services. And also, as an enterprise member, your organization has four virtual uh, consulting hours that are available to you annually. So I encourage you to utilize those resources. So what we've done is gone through completely uh, the online guided tour of the resources that are available through your organization's corporate membership. We will now go back and finish through the actual uh, slide presentation. So a quick benefits recap. Your organization as a member, whether you are a functional level member, so a particular process area, or an enterprise member, which means all the core process areas that APQC supports, your organization has comprehensive access. So that means there is no limitation as far as the number of employees or subsidiaries that can access these resources. So um, as a takeaway, share this resource with uh, one of your colleagues, spread the word about APQC. You have access to best practices resources through our online searchable library containing best practices reports, case studies, tools, and templates. You are able to benchmark and assess your organization's performance through our benchmarking assessment. The Ask Us feature allows APQC to do the heavy lifting. So again, please never get frustrated with uh, not being able to find what you need or maybe you just don't have time. Utilize the Ask Us feature. It is a member benefit. You have access to our expert-led webinars, so the live online presentations covering industry trends and the latest findings from the APQC research. And also, every member organization has a dedicated APQC member success manager. So please utilize us as your customer service person for this actual membership. We understand that each of you has a day-to-day -day job, so allow us to service your organization through the corporate membership. The additional services, just a quick recap, our advisory services, our training, which we can deliver virtually or on site, where our APQC subject matter experts uh, cover the courses, and we can certainly tailor them to fit your culture, business needs, and challenges. 
APQC also has the capability to do customized benchmarking. So if your organization has key performance indicators that are already established, or you're looking to develop key performance indicators, APQC can get you customized reports and comparisons to measure your organization's performance for specific processes against peers. Also, the Mosaic Accelerator, this resource is available through the enterprise membership, or if you are a functional member, this is an additional service, but our members receive 20% off of this service. This allows organizations to uh, get process and performance management capabilities a jumpstart with the Mosaic Accelerator tool. So it's a program designed to advance the adoption of your process framework in Mosaic and improve your measurement and governance capability. So the next step, if you have not registered, take the time, it takes maybe two or three minutes to register online. Your dedicated member success manager receives a notification that someone has registered. So what we do is certainly uh, give you a quick call or send you an email to connect you to the resources and connect you to us so that you have that one-on-one -on -one connection and support. And go to your member resources page. So now we will open the floor for any questions. If I'm a non-member, can I still register for the website? That's a really good question, and the answer is yes. Even if your organization is not a member, you can register online for APQC. Now, you will not certainly have access to all of the best practices, resources, or assessment that a member has, but you will certainly get a great feel of the expertise and resources that APQC has available. So certainly, uh, once you've had a chance to look from a very restricted lens, you can suggest uh, to your organization uh, the value and connect to membership. Thank you so much, Katrell. The next question is, is there only one kind of membership? That's a great question as well, and the answer is no. Um, there are two different levels of membership. So there is the functional level membership, which is where organizations may start to focus on one process area to improve. So for instance, if a company has a supply chain membership, that means you have full access to end-to-end -to -end supply chain resources, so benchmarking data and also best practices content across end-to-end -end supply chain. The next level of membership is enterprise. So that means all of the core process areas that APQC supports, you have full access to that benchmarking data and also best practices content. And then we also have a different level of membership for our professional services clients. And I think the last question we have time for today is, do you get a discount for the conference if you're currently a member? Thanks, that's also a great question. So the answer is yes, there is a discount if you are a member organization. There's also a second level of discounting if you register within the early bird timeframe. And thirdly, as a member, if there is a large group of individuals from your member organization, there's also a discount there. So certainly uh, with our members, they do get uh, three levels of discounting for any of our conferences. And that's all the time we have for questions, Katrell. Thank you so much. Thanks, and have a great day.